Good morning, everyone. I thought it'd be worthwhile to spend a quick five minutes and take you through what I saw at a recent visit to the Amazon bookstore in Seattle. All of this film was shot on the iPhone in the store. You'll notice that as you come up to the actual product, all you've got is a title, a quote about the book, a barcode, and reviews. All of the pricing to be accessed requires a scan of the barcode as you see here or the use of a price checker. I had issues in scanning this first barcode. It's actually easier to probably pick up the book and scan the actual barcode. It worked on the second and it pulled up the actual Amazon listing. All of the pricing on Amazon.com is the pricing that you pay within the store. No surprise here, just like any other bookstore, as you can see, you've got a spot where you can lounge, read books, read the news. The wood themes are prevalent throughout the store. It's a very outdoors feel, nature-based feel, Seattle feel, very different from the Apple stores that are all glass and metal. There were at least five price checkers throughout the small store. All product is merchandised as expected by category or type of book. There's a section devoted specifically to children in the back half of the store. And no surprise here, but the electronics take up the most valuable piece of real estate within the store. You have the ability to demo all of their various electronics as well as sit down and play Fire Games, Fire TV. The point of sale is very similar to what you would expect from a square type checkout. You've got all the payment forms you would typically expect Visa, MasterCard, Discover, Amex, and Amazon Payments. With the swipe of your credit card, your credit card will pull up whatever Amazon account is associated with that credit card. I used a credit card that's not currently associated with an Amazon account. So therefore, after successful swipe, it asked for my email address to double check that it had an Amazon account to tie to it. When I did run this a second time, using a different credit card, it quickly pulled up my Amazon account and asked for a quick verification. And once you get through the successful authorization, it's just like any other screen where you are signing the actual screen, very similar to Square. A couple of interesting things to note, there was a local author showcase, so Seattle-based authors were called out separately from the rest of the books. Goodreads was integrated within the store, so if the Amazon reviews on all the books weren't enough for you, you had Goodreads. But the biggest thing was the app-based merchandising. Again, all of the pricing, further information was all done through app. The Q&A was a standalone Q&A tied to Amazon Answers. And then I think what we're seeing with the electronics and the way in which they showcase the electronics is a preview of what the new stores will look like. This is the most expensive product within the store that's fueling the purchase of further content on Kindles through Prime. Uh, as well as on Fire tablets. In summary, it looks like a normal bookstore. There's a couple of things that are very different, such as the app-based merchandising where you pull up everything on app. I was a bit surprised to not see any mobile payment directly on app or any recognition of me walking into the store as an Amazon customer through the app. More to come though, and I think this is a great preview. Thanks for your time.